around those hands, tied around those hands, holding them together. Four, like they're carved from a single piece of wood. Can you imagine that now? And five, go ahead now and try and pull those hands apart. What's that feel like? What's happening here? People often ask me, what happens when an induction doesn't go as planned? How do you handle it? How do you manage it? And in this week's video, I've got an induction where several times things just don't go the way I'm trying to direct them. So find out how you handle it. Does he go into hypnosis? Who knows? Keep watching. Hi there, my name is Taran Mirza. I'm a hypnotist and a clinical hypnotherapist. And every week I show you a little street hypnosis clip and then break down in a tutorial fashion some discussion about what's happening in that street hypnosis clip. And this week I have an induction where several things just didn't go the way I was planning it to go. Several things were going against the textbook way of people telling you how an induction should work. So what happens? Well, keep watching. We're going to see the street hypnosis clip coming up right now and then I'll talk about what's happening and why it's probably happening, why I was changing uh, as things weren't going as planned. Believe it or not, there's probably two, maybe even three inductions in here. So if one induction doesn't work, you just got to move smoothly on to the next one. And people talk a lot about pre-talk and how important pre-talk is. For a lot of my inductions that, that you see on this YouTube channel, there is no pre-talk. I don't do any pre-talk off camera. So whatever you see in the clips and any of my videos is really all that I do. Now, I didn't do a pre-talk with this gentleman, as I say, off camera. You see really from the minute the camera's rolling, but then I have to take a step back and just find out if there's any concerns just shortly after I start. So I, so I move into a pre-talk if I feel it's necessary. Sometimes I don't think it's necessary at all because they're they're witness to other people being hypnotized and that in itself is a is a pre-talk within themselves that this stuff's going to work. But enough of going too depth into the clip before you've seen it. Let's watch the clip. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you give it a like and don't forget, click the big red subscribe button and that bell notification button next to that subscribe button. So you get notified every time a new video comes out from myself and Feel Good Hypnosis. So let's watch the clip and stay tuned after the video so you find out all about it. Have you been hypnotised? Yeah. Have you ever been hypnotised before? No. Would you like to be hypnotised by me? Yeah. How do you do? What's your name? Tiernan. Tiernan, look at your hand, look at the lines in your hand. Pick one spot and one line. That's right. Just look at that spot. That's right. Continue <laughs> to stare at that spot. You don't need to say a thing. But notice as I move that hand towards your forehead. That's right. Just allow that to move. That's right. Don't resist. Why are you resisting? That's it. There you go. You're, you're, you seem like a wee bit tense. Yeah. Okay. Why, why are you a wee bit tense? Are you any worries about? <laughs> are you any worries about being hypnotised? No, no. No. Right. Not anymore. So tell you what. Put your hands out like this here. Okay. Okay. Feet together. Stand up straight. Okay. You're not far apart. Nice straight. Okay. Now I want you to stare at my finger. Yeah. I want you to stare at my finger and just close your eyes down now and just continue to imagine that finger between those two hands. Can you do that? That's right. Just continue to imagine that finger between those two hands. And as you continue to imagine that finger there now, just begin to imagine there's very strong magnets in the palms of your hands. Begin to imagine there's very strong magnets in the palms of your hands. And notice what happens as I click my fingers. Those magnets start to get stronger and stronger inside your mind. Now. That's right. Just feel those magnets getting stronger and stronger, starting to pull together. And you can feel that already now, can't you? Getting stronger and stronger and stronger as those hands start to move together now. As those magnets get so powerful, so strong. Just imagine that now inside your mind. Just feel those hands pulling together. Now. That's right. And you're resisting that, aren't you? I'm not. There you go. Feel that starting to pull together, tug together, getting stronger and stronger inside your mind. Just imagine that now. Just imagine those hands pulling and tugging and tugging and pulling and pulling and tugging together. 
There you go. There you go. You feel that now. Yeah. There you go. Imagine now those hands, those fingers gluing and sticking together. Get those palms pulling even tighter together. In a minute, those palms are going to continue to stick together, lock together. Just imagine that now. Just imagine that now. Almost as if those two hands are carved from a single piece of wood. Just imagine now those two hands are carved from a single piece of wood. As those fingers touch together, those palms touch together, those hands touch together. Just imagine now getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And in a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. And on the count of five, not before, on the count of five, I'm going to ask you to try and pull those hands apart. On the count of five, and only on the count of five, I'm going to ask you to try and pull those hands apart. And when you do, you're going to find they're so locked, so stuck together inside your mind that you will not be able to move those hands apart. So one, feeling them getting stuck. Two, like there's super glue on the tips of your fingers, like super glue in the palms of your hands. Three, like there's a big rope tied around those hands, tied around those hands, holding them together. Four, like they're carved from a single piece of wood. Really imagine that now. And five, go ahead now and try and pull those hands apart. What's that feel like now? Hard. It is hard. That's right. And in the moment we're going to say the word sleep. When I say the word sleep, your head will drop down to your chest your arms will drop down your side and go into wonderful feeling of hypnosis. So one, feeling that feeling getting stronger and stronger inside mind. Two, sleep down. Deeper, deeper, deeper relax. The deeper you go, the more relaxed you feel, the more relaxed you feel, the deeper you go. Letting all the sounds around you, people talking in the background, help you absorb you into this wonderful feeling of hypnosis now. Your legs and back and supporting you all the time as I drop that hand down, go ten times deeper, ten times more relaxed now. Letting all the sounds around you, that's right. Let that feeling of that body swaying now just help to absorb you into that state. And you can feel happy now, that's right, as I count from 10 down to 1, with every count I count, just allow your unconscious now to take yourself down even deeper, even more relaxed now, that's right, way down, 10, going deeper, 9, doubling that feeling of relaxation, 8, so deep, so relaxed, by the time I get to number 1, your unconscious will take you to a place that even I could have taken to, so deep, so relaxed, that every suggestion I make will become your reality, legs and back supporting you all the time now, that's right, and 5, 4, so deep, so relaxed. Three, and two, and one. Way down. In a minute, I'm going to count from one to three, and the count of three this time. You can open your eyes, you'll be back with us, but every time we say that we're asleep or deeper sleep, your eyes will close down, your head will drop down to your chest, and you'll double this feeling that you have right now. Nod your head that you understand. So one, two, three, open your eyes. What was that like? Good. It was good. Look at me. And sleep now. Way down, way down. Deeper, 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 relax. And one, two, three, open your eyes. Sleep now. Way down. Deeper, 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 relax. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to three, and the count of three, this time you're going to feel so relaxed, so comfortable in this feeling of hypnosis that you're in right now. It's going to feel like your legs are stuck to the floor, like your feet are cemented glued stuck to the floor. You're going to feel like they're so relaxed, so comfortable in the position you're in now. You will not be able to bend your knees. You will not be able to move your legs. You will be just locked and stuck to the floor. Nod your head that you understand. The more you try and move those feet, the more those feet will just lock and stick. Nod your head. That's right. One, two, three. Open your eyes. Feeling good? Yeah. Go ahead now and try and move those feet. What's that like? Hard. Heavier and heavier and harder. In a moment, they're going to be feeling so heavy you will not be able to move them. Locked and stuck to the floor. Locked and stuck to the floor. What's that like? Getting heavier and heavier and heavier now. That's right. Locked and stuck. <laughs> Locked and stuck. Can't get up. You can't get up, can you? How do you try? Really try. How do you try? How do you stick? How do you try? How do you stick? <laughs> Look at me. And sleep now. Way down. Deeper. Deeper, deeper, relax, letting all the signs around you, people laughing in the background, just helping to absorb you in this feeling of uh, hypnosis now. So welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that video. As you saw, he went into hypnosis. The final test, as I always say, the final test of any induction is giving a suggestion and seeing what the feedback's like. In this case, I did a simple feet stuck and wow, he couldn't move his feet. So proof of the pudding is it worked. But all along the way, it was quite a long induction because and I say long induction, some people do like a progressive muscle relaxation induction and that takes me 20 minutes, half an hour. But for me, four or five minutes was a, a long induction. So let's talk about what was happening inside that video. First of all, I do a hand to face induction and uh, 
right away, I always tell people, you, you don't hold the wrist tightly. You can see me, I just have sort of one finger on the back of his hand, sort of pressing forward. And the key thing that, that threw me here was that he was, you know, and I challenged him on the idea that he had a bit of resistance, is that one of two things usually happens. Firstly, either when I say your hand's gonna to move towards your forehead, well, the unconscious mind kicks in and takes the hand and it moves forward. Sometimes the hand will just sort of go into that cataleptic state. They're already going ahead of my direction. Again, nothing can really be planned when you're working with individuals. Every human being is gonna be different in the way they react. But if their hand just goes cataleptic, it'll just freeze there. It'll just, it'll just sit there, settled all by itself. And again, that little finger on the back of the hand is enough to sense that, oh, you know, they're, they're not moving forward, but it's just, you know, sitting there in midair. With this gentleman, I could feel a pressure pushing back on my finger. If you watch very closely as I take my hand away, as I say, you're resisting, aren't you? As I move my hand away, his hand's almost pushing back, just fractionally, but there's enough of a sense there that he was pushing back. So I stop immediately and say, right, some pre-talk is needed. Do you have any concerns? Do you have any worries about hypnosis? Uh, and he sort of giggles and there's, uh, there is a tension. You can see a sort of tension in his body. Now, the, like I said, no pre-talk off camera. The only thing he said pre-filming was, oh, I really want to try that. So I could tell from his enthusiasm and his excitement that he was up for this. He had watched me hypnotizing other people and was very interested in it and wanted to experience it himself. So. I had a fair idea there was no conscious concerns, but maybe again, sometimes even people that volunteer for this, here yeah, I want to be hypnotized, at the back of their mind at an unconscious level, they're going, oh, I don't want to look silly here or whatever the concern might be. Uh, and that might stop or prevent him from, uh, you know, following my steps and, and allowing themselves to be induced into hypnosis. Again, it's very important to stress that the individual is in control. If they don't want to be hypnotized, it's not going to work. So I really just want to belay any fears in a, in a friendly way. And I, when I say you're not resisting, I look around and I sort of laugh and, and then look back to reassure him that, you know, let's, let's relax here and enjoy this experience. So I move on to the magnetic hands. And again, once again, red flags there because I say your hands are gonna to move together and it was clear there was no sense of feeling of, of this hands moving. You can see me two, three, maybe even four times saying that you'll feel those magnets pulling, you'll feel those magnets pulling. And again, at that point I say, are you resisting? I didn't feel anything other than the fact that the hands weren't moving. I'm basing that comment on the previous comment where I felt that resistance, I said, are you resisting? And he went, I'm not. But look what happened. I don't think he was consciously resisting, but at some level, at an unconscious level, there were concerns. But the conscious mind saying, I want to try this, won through in the end, because as soon as they say, are you resisting? He says, no. And all of a sudden his hands start to move together. So that's a good sign that, you know, sometimes you've got to challenge these things. You have to have faith in yourself and the processes in the idea of hypnosis and knowing this is a natural state within everybody to just allow it to happen. But sometimes you've got to challenge it and look how I challenge it several times. So what happens next is hands move together beautifully and connect together. And I want to really reinforce that. So I'm saying his hands will be locked and his hands will be stuck. I'm really putting in a lot of different suggestions to make sure that I find the one out of all those suggestions that really resonate with him and he feels his hands are stuck together. But what happens next? I say, in a moment, I'm gonna to count to five and on the count of five, you're gonna try and pull your hands apart and find you can't. And I count one, locking together, two, sticking together. I go through that whole process to really labor the idea. I really wanna get home to him that, you know, he can use his imagination to make this happen. Again, it's not me taking control of his body. It's about me talking to him and him agreeing that this is happening at an unconscious level. But what happens, I say, go ahead and try and move your hands and his hands move apart. Do I panic this time? Ah, panic. No, once again, don't worry about these things. Have faith, have trust in the process. 
I've already tried one induction, the hand to face, and then I've tried the other induction, the magnetic hands. And there's a sense by the hands pulling together that we are breaking down barriers. So I now just tell him you're in hypnosis and I grab his hand and very lightly just give a little shock induction to his hand. Moving on to the third induction and the third induction, he drops down and you can see his body's very relaxed. In fact, and it's really close to the end when you see me after the fruit sticks of uh, putting two hands on him because he's starting to relax so much, he's swaying so much that uh, you know, I want to make sure that he doesn't fall over. This is the point where I always come back to this idea of health and safety. You've got to be sure you have the health and safety of the subject you're working with 100% in your control. If you think that at any point they're going to fall over, you've got to make sure you use two hands, make sure you steady them. Uh, and if you need to, all these inductions, all these street hypnosis can be done standing up or sitting down. Now, I've done this a lot of times, I know the situations where you know things can get you know to the point where they might be so relaxed they'll fall over uh, so i'm prepped for that and i'm watching out for that if you have any concerns about the health and safety of the subject you're working with always do it sitting down it looks nice and dramatic and standing up but it's just as much fun when they're sitting down and instead of a foot stick you can say your foot bump stuck to the chair there's lots of different routines you can do in a seated position. So I fractionate the guy just to make sure he's really into hypnosis, waking him up and then dropping him down again. And again, watching and measuring his response as I do that. So again, I'm constantly testing, constantly getting feedback from him, from his body posture, from the way he's swaying to, to get that sense that he's in hypnosis. But as I said, right at the front, final proof of the pudding is in doing a foot stick. And I get him to open his eyes and tell him after having told him his feet are stuck to the floor and I said go ahead and try and move your feet and said, what's that like and he says, it's hard and bang that's the proof of the pudding he's in hypnosis he's accepted the suggestion he's tapping into that unconscious part of him who's now is imagining that his feet are stuck once again there's no glue sticking his feet to the floor it's purely in his imagination that he can't move his feet so when he says it's hard that's a verbal feedback as to how he feels internally and bingo we're there i drop him back down to hypnosis just to finish off and like i say i put my hands on him and you can you can see the amount of swaying that he has he's really gone into that relaxed state of hypnosis so i hope you've gained some extra insights into how to handle a difficult induction just number one just keep going you know move from one induction to a different type of induction and move into you know, a third induction if you have to several times i've done two three maybe four inductions before getting to the one that really takes them to that place where they need to go there's 101 ways to induce someone into hypnosis so the more rich your uh, library of different inductions are the better you'll be as a hypnotist Hope you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you give it a like and don't forget to click the big red subscribe button and that bell notification button next to that subscribe button and if you have any comments about this video please leave it in the comment section below i love reading your comments and finding out what it is you like about this video and if you have any questions about something you saw maybe i didn't cover it in that induction then please leave it in the comment section below and i look forward to getting back to you I release a new video every Sunday, so browse around my channel until then and see you next Sunday.